Hi, I'm Roseanne and welcome to my bathroom. I'm going to show you how to attach a Philips Holter monitor for uh, to, to track your heart rate. And I actually have been wearing one already for five days. So you see, you can, you can hide it with, you know, not that high a neck. And um, actually this is day six and they tell you after five days, you should remove it, charge it. It takes 90 minutes to charge and then reapply it with a new patch. You can't really see the patch because it's, you can see this part of it, but it's clear. And so I'm going to take it off and then in 90 minutes, I'll come back for you. That will be just, you know, a nanosecond and show you how to reattach it. So to remove it, it says to pull the tape off and to power down your monitor. So I'm going to push the button and it says power off and then I'm going to let it power off. So now I have this on the back is like this kind of jelly stuff and that helps, I guess, keep your skin nice. So let's look at my skin. Well, it did pretty well. I feel like it, you can see where it was and I'll get 90 minutes of not having it. Okay, now to get this off, it says it takes a little bit of strength to unsnap it from its case. And I don't have any strength, so I'm going to take this out of view so I can see if I can do it. Oh, okay, so it bends, and then you can... Snap the whole thing off. Okay, it took me a little while. Then I'm gonna throw this out. But this is, is your sensor. And that, after three to five days, they actually told me, you put it in here. It snaps in really easily. And now it's going, and now the light comes on. And when it's green, hmm, the red light went off. Let's try again. There it goes, it's on. In 90 minutes, it'll turn green. I'll be right back. See you then. Welcome back. It's probably shorter for you than it was for me. So it's 90 minutes later. It's a little more than 90 minutes later. And I have a green light. So I know that my sensor is charged. Um, the first time you do it, I think you get your patch from box one. But since I already used that one, I have my patches in box two, which is the monitoring box. And this is what it looks like. I also want to say to you guys, you know, good for you that you're doing this. It's, you know, kind of a bother. It's a little inconvenient, but it doesn't hurt. As you see, and even in those 90 minutes, my redness all went away. And I've been doing really well with it. I hope you will too. I can sleep fine. Um, this is, in those 90 minutes, is a good time to take a bath if you love baths or take a swim because you're not allowed to do that when you're wearing it because they said it's water resistant but not um, waterproof. Um, in my case, I had no symptoms. I'm wearing this because my doctor didn't like my very low uh, heart rate of about 50 beats per minute, my resting heartbeat. So he wants to look at two weeks of activity to see if my heart rate goes up, which I think it has been doing. And I, um, I do a lot of running and training for track and field. I'm going to be 70 years old in May next month of 2023. And I think that my heart rate, I'm hoping it's just sort of normal at resting because I do get it up really high sometimes. And we're going to you know, supply data, and that's all you can do. And that's all you can do for yourself is give your doctor data 
and then they can help you decide what you need. In my case, I might need a pacemaker, I might not. Okay, so I'm gonna tear this open. And here's my patch. On one side, it has this sticky stuff and there's a little jelly to be kind to your skin. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put this in here. So I'm gonna take this out of here. It comes out easily. Um, it's been plugged in. See if you can see it, it's been plugged in. And um, I keep my monitor plugged in part of the day because it has to, you have to charge that every day, but the sensor only every five days or so. Okay. The next thing you do is snap it in. So I'm gonna look at my the guide they give you because I kind of forget. You do it, you know, so it fits. You can it won't go the other way, you can't do it backwards. So you're matching the sensor to the sensor, and you just snap it together. It's pretty easy, as I recall. I'll push it down and it's it's all connected. Whoops. The next thing you do is you'll find this in your kit. So you put it on yourself and it shows you where to put it. This is gonna, going to fit in that opening. However, as you can see, I'm not a big tall person and um, by the way, if you're a man, you might have to shave this before you do it. I have to also find, I'm going to turn this off for one second. What I almost forgot to do is scrub. I'm not quite sure why, but don't put any lotion. Like even though my skin was red in between these, this chart, while this charging was going on, I didn't apply any lotion because that might make the patch not stick. And, and instead they want you to really rough it up. But before I do that, I have to see where I'm putting it. So what you're supposed to do is put this up by the top of your neck. So that whether you're short or tall, it doesn't matter because once it's at the, just, um, I mean the bottom of your neck really, right around your collarbone, um, it's gonna be the right place no matter how tall you are. So you might have to, it might be take the whole way open or in my case, I have to close it quite a bit. And actually, here's a little tip. I find that if you just pull one, it works better and then it slides back a lot. So I'm going to tie it to itself here and just make a loop and that'll keep it up so that I don't have to keep adjusting it. Okay, so now it's pointing out exactly where this is going to go. And before I can do that, I have to take that little scrubber thing that they give you and I'm gonna scrub and I'm gonna set my watch for one minute um, and then I am gonna start scrubbing and I will fast forward this for you so you don't, you don't have to watch me scrub for a minute. What it does is um, roughen up your skin. In a way, it's the worst part of this whole thing. <laughs> but um, your skin, I guess, has to be a little rough and not too smooth to hold this. Okay, now I'm going to remove this back part. The sticky part. I'll leave the sticky part open. And then I'm going to, with this placed really well, I'm going to put it right in the hole there. And that's where it belongs. And then I can take this off, undo my little knot, off it comes. And I'm all set, except that you don't want all that white showing through. So after I pat it down really well, There's a little tab here and you can, let me pat down a little bit more just to make sure. And 
Then you pull it off. It'll hold down the monitor, so I mean the sensor, so it doesn't. Okay, and there it is. That's the whole thing. It's real stuck on really nice. And again, if I don't want to show it, you can just wear, you know, a, a boat neck or a turtleneck. Um, it doesn't show out of everything, or if you don't mind, people don't care, you know? Anyway, now I'm going to push this little button in on the side, and that's going to start this monitor, if I do it right. You know what, I'm going to take, take the case off, and it'll be easier. Okay, push the, mon the button, and it starts. Okay, it turns on. Then it's really just a matter of following instructions. Here, I'll let you look at it if you want to see again what it looks like. I will have to do this probably one more time before my two weeks are over. But I won't make you watch that. But I'll come back and um, at the end of the video or maybe in the second video, I will let you know what my doctor said and you can follow my journey if you'd like. I'm hoping it's not a journey to a pacemaker. Okay, so that's the next screen that comes up. I'll just watch it through the mirror. I'm also looking at a mirror, and I suggest you do that when you put on your your patch to get it right. It's I can't even imagine doing it without a mirror, so that's why I'm in my bathroom. Okay, it takes a little time. Maybe I'll fast forward this for you also. makes a little bit of music. That's the screen that you're going to have anytime you push this button to light it up. Your messages are here and all your options are here. So you can, one thing you can do is you push the top that says monitor options and then you have a volume key so you can make it, right now it's on medium. I like that so I'm going to push OK. You can change the language. You can make it vibrate and you can put it in airplane mode if you're traveling. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back. It automatically sends a baseline test, te test, so you probably won't have to do that, but if you do, it will tell you there's a message waiting for you. I have no messages, I'm good to go, and um, good luck with you on yours. I hope you find it easy.